Thank you very much, Shirley. This is a very proud and a very happy moment. And the winner is Linda Hunt. <laughs> This is extraordinary. There was an Indonesian phrase in the film which translates into English as water from the moon. And it means that which is unattainable, the impossible, that which one can never have or know. Making the year of living dangerously for me was water from the moon. <laughs> Thank you. And the winner is Marley Matlin. I, um, I just want to thank a lot of people. I, uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't prepare for this speech, but I definitely want to thank the Academy and its members. And I want to thank my mother and father, Eric, Mark, Gloria, Zachary, and Liz. They're here tonight with me. And I just want to thank all of you I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Reeve. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. What you probably don't know is that I left New York last September, and I just arrived here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm glad I did, because I wouldn't have missed this kind of welcome for the world. Thank you. When I was a kid, my friends and I went to the movies just for fun. But then we saw Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove started as thinking about the madness of nuclear destruction. Stanley Kramer's The Defiant once taught us about race relations. And we began to realize that films could deal with social issues. Now, when you look at films like Platoon and Philadelphia, Lorenzo's Oil, you realize the power of film to present painful but important issues to the public. So here are just a few more of the motion pictures that have courageously put social issues ahead of box office success. They've enlightened us, they've challenged us, 
and they've given us the opportunity to learn. Hollywood needs to do more. Let's continue to take risks. Let's tackle the issues in many ways. In many ways, our film community can do it better than anyone else. There is no challenge, artistic or otherwise, that we can't meet. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Seth Rogen and Michael J. Fox. I'm going to pretend half that applause is for me, even though I know deep down it is not. All right, some of it was for you. You think like 30% of it was for me? Some of it was for you. Great. <laughs> Either way, I'm at the Oscars with Michael J. Fox, a DeLorean, while wearing future shoes. All I have to do is sing the Schuyler Sisters song from Hamilton in front of the world, and I will have completed my entire bucket list. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Angelica. Eliza. And Peggy, look around, look around. Uh, okay. we, can't, we, can't, we can't do the whole thing. Okay, fine. I don't want to be in the room when it happens. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, we're here to present the award for achievement in film editing. Since we're talking about influencers and influencers, I want to mention how much we all owe to editors. There is a nominee here tonight that doesn't depend on editors to show off their best work. Here are the nominees for achievement in film editing. Short films allow for new voices to be seen and heard without the constraints of budget or permission. I've seen these films and they are beautiful. And if you haven't Seen it? Come see it. Bang. Here, here are the nominees for best live action short film. The uh, Oscars goes to the neighbor's widow. <laughs> 